Hello and welcome to this demo for Salesforce and Moodle integration brought to you by Parity Solutions. In this demo, we're going to show one of the features that we have in our product that allows you to integrate Salesforce and Moodle. Before we start, a little bit about Parity Solutions. We've been in business in 2007. We're based in Silicon Valley and we are one of the experts in LMS. So, if you think of a scenario, you have a new contact or an account that you have just added to Salesforce and you want to add that account to Moodle. However, doing it manually will require you to add the user in Salesforce and then in Moodle so that that user is present. This means a lot of work and effort and is not a very efficient way. Using our solution, the only thing you have to do is create the user in Salesforce. Our plugin will automatically pass all the information from Salesforce to Moodle, including custom fields and all information related to that account. We also allow you to update users in Moodle when information about that user in Salesforce has changed. So let's get to it. We are currently inside of Salesforce and you can see the two tabs on top called Accounts and Contacts. Our plugin will allow you to sync both Accounts and Contacts and or Accounts and Contacts only. This gives you complete flexibility for the types of accounts uh, that you want included or that you want to give access to in Moodle. So let's create a new contact. Let's fill up the information. Okay, so uh, you can fill up a lot of this information right here. You can also have custom fields that you want. And so let's go ahead and save. Now, there are some configurations you can do to this plugin that allows you to control the frequency of this plugin sending information from Salesforce to Moodle. In some instances where you have a lot of users or a lot of accounts and contacts being added every single day, you can set the frequency to be much more. This allows you to have, this allows you to get your users access to Moodle as soon as possible using one of our other uh, features in this product, which is single sign-on. Um, if, you if you don't have a lot of users being added on a daily basis, you can set it up to a much higher value which will allow the job or the synchronization job to run um, on a less frequent basis. So at this current moment it is set to 10 minutes. I will pause the video and come back to you then. Right, so we're back here and I would like to go to Moodle and I am logged in as the admin access here and you can see that this new user has already been added. This includes all the information. We also pass some very important information such as the Salesforce ID, is, it a, uh, is the user a partner or not and whatnot. And you can see that the first access and last access is never because this user has not yet uh, logged in. To Moodle. So it's that easy. Um, I wanted lastly to show you the configuration that you can do. So once you install this product you will get some uh, custom uh, tabs here and one of these tabs will be configurations and in configurations you can enter all the information required for this job and also the other uh, feature that we have called single sign-on. You can set up uh, the job 
push period which is the frequency on which the synchronization will work this is currently set to 900 um, this is in seconds and you can set it to what uh, whatever value suits you better um, you can also start the job for any reason if your job might have stopped uh, you can start resyncing that um, and you can do all that all right so that was the demo uh, please feel free to contact us uh, for further information on this product and for a personal demo please visit our website on www.prioritysolutions.com um, you can also call us on the numbers given on the screen and we look forward to hearing from you thank you